Hey guys, uh, this is Jaime uh, from Elector. Uh, welcome to Elector TV. I'm here in uh, Embedded World in Nuremberg, uh, Germany. And as you can see, I'm uh, surrounded by cool stuff. Uh, I'm in the microchip uh, stand. And here I have uh, my kind friend Christoph. Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, so yeah, he's going to introduce us. Uh, yeah, what I see here is a Simulink screen. Yeah. And then I see some cool application with a motor, just yeah. a dev kit. Yeah. Tell me, what's yeah. going on here? What's going on here? What <laughs> I'm showing here is uh, rapid prototyping for microchip microcontrollers. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we have created here is a, a physical model with the motor, with the control algorithm and some load. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you see here in the box, uh, I have also modeled in Simulink. Yeah. So uh, what you see on the screen is actually the same uh, what we have uh, physically here. Mm -hmm. So we can do full, full closed loop simulation of this permanent magnet synchron motor with sensorless field oriented control. Uh -huh. So quite some sophisticated control algorithm. Huh. And once we are happy with the simulation in Simulink, yep. uh, just by clicking one icon in Simulink, we get source code out of this. Uh, it automatically gets compiled and programmed mm -hmm. onto the hardware, onto that demo board. Yeah. And uh, hopefully it's spinning the motor in the exact same way yeah. as in the simulation. So it's behaving as, it, as the model we, we yeah. got ready before. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. And, and you see in, in that case it is doing uh, this. And mm -hmm. to verify this, we also have a high-speed interface yeah. uh, back into MATLAB. And here mm -hmm. on the screen you see uh, the signals in real time yeah. uh, for voltages, currents, mm -hmm. uh, just some standard MATLAB scripts mm -hmm. uh, and you can visualize that stuff and compare with the simulation to make sure that uh, mm -hmm. your model is uh, accurate, Ac yeah, enough, accurate uh, enough yeah for your yeah. work. And uh, yeah, I have a question that yeah, most of the people will be will be asking. Okay, but what, I mean, how do I know that the model I prepared in Simulink mm -hmm. is accurate enough? Yeah. How I, can I make sure of that? Yeah, uh, once you have the motor running, Mm -hmm. uh, you get the data back here yeah. and you can compare this data uh, exactly with the simulation. So th this is what you see running here. So this is exactly. So this is the real world. This is real this world. Is the simulation. This is the simulation. Right. And you just have to compare these two and see, make sure that they are matched. Yeah. Huh. Nice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, is there any specific uh, you would like to comment? Ra I mean, about the. This uh, development board I see there. Yeah, this solution is, is really hardware independent. Yeah. So you can use this for any of our DSP microcontrollers. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it, it, it's very easy if you want to change the hardware. Yeah, actually, from, the, I see the socket there. So that means that you, you can you can use the DSP you want. Just yeah. take it away and exactly. Like another one. It's, yeah. it's just a, a few clicks in the model here where you change yeah. to different A to D converter channels, mm -hmm. uh, to different I/O pins and you can run it uh, on a different hardware platform. Yeah, the, yeah. Other, the other thing which is very nice is, so I'm using this to develop some sensorless algorithms yeah. and uh, just with drag and drop you take some, some blocks out of mm -hmm. the library and you quickly can test within, within a few seconds new yeah. ideas so you don't have to do some C coding, assembly coding. Yeah. Uh, so it's a visual it's representation, and yeah, it's really easy yeah, to yeah. get it and done. Before you put it onto the hardware, yeah. uh, you can simulate everything, uh, which is much faster than. Uh, yeah, of course. Start building stuff. Start programming, yeah, programming that stuff, yeah. uh, and uh, blow up some hardware. Maybe yeah. if you made something wrong. Yeah. And okay, but I have a question, and this time it's about money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if? Okay, you guys, this is implemented in Simulink. Yeah. But what if I want to use? Is there any other way, you know, to avoid? Yeah. There uh, you know, using Simulink. Very good question. <laughs> uh, there is also a solution available uh, based on Scilab. Scilab is yeah. uh, a kind of similar software where you mm -hmm. can do similar things as in MATLAB simulations. Uh, you can also draw block diagrams uh, like in Simulink. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also for uh, Scilab, there is a toolbox available for mm -hmm. code generation, uh, which also works for all our 16-bit microcontrollers. Mm -hmm. um, you could do very similar things yeah. as with MATLAB and Simulink mm -hmm. with open source open products. Source, yeah. uh, and you have to pay 
nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just let me think, nothing. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, yeah. cool. So, thank you, man. Yeah. I think yeah, thank I think you. it was really it, I think it was really interesting, yeah. Yeah. To see it. So, thanks a lot and and well, I think guys this was all for today. So, thank you so much. If you like uh, this video, please uh, like or subscribe down there and we'll place all the links, right? Uh, how people can download data sheets and okay. uh, get to know Sila because I didn't know that yeah. before that uh, that even existed. So, that was all. Thanks and see you next time. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.